In this video, we are going to compare two well-known full-face helmets from AGV Sport Touring segment, namely the AGV K1 and the AGV K6. Are you curious what the differences are? Then stay tuned. Hi all, my name is Liv from Champion Helmets and welcome to our channel. Before we get started with the review, I'll go over a few general things first. Where the K1 is an entry-level helmet, the K6 is an all-round helmet. Now, you might think that the AGV K1 will be severely inferior to the K6, but to what extent is this really true? To answer this question, we tested both helmets on the road and collected all the data carefully so that we can present the facts to you. The AGV K1 comes with a recommended retail price of 189 euros and the AGV K6 comes with a recommended retail price of 382 euros. So in terms of price, we already see a significant difference. But how big is this difference when we start looking at the performance? Okay, let's start a review with the AGV K1. First of all, let's look at the material. The AGV K1 is made of polycarbonate and comes in two shell sizes. Polycarbonate is relatively a less strong material than fiberglass or carbon. Therefore, more material is needed to provide the same protection, which affect the weight. If we weigh the helmet in a size M, we see that the scale indicates a weight of 1550 grams, which is really good considering its material. With that being said, let's look at the visor. The K1 features a clear pinlock prepared anti-scratch visor. The pinlock is not included as standard, but can be ordered from our website at www.championhelmets.com. The visor is available in two different sizes to better fit the helmet shell. The visor offers 190 degrees of horizontal vision and optimal vertical vision. The micro opening system of the visor allows you to let in more air while riding. Okay, now that we know this, let's see how the K1 performs out on the road. As always, we have tested our helmets at a wind speed of 130 km per hour for the best possible result. First, we are going to look at the noise isolation. The average decibel score during our road test with the K1 was 105 decibels. This really is a too high number, which allows us to conclude that when we talk about noise, the AGV K1 is definitely not the quietest helmet. In terms of ventilation, we measured a difference of 2 degrees between the temperature inside the helmet and the temperature outside. This is a moderate result for the K1, but considering its price, this is not nearly as bad. Okay, before we get to how many stars the helmet scored on each part, let's take a look at the K6. The shell of the K6 is made of carbon and aramid. These are high quality materials that result in a very strong and lightweight shell. The helmet comes with four shell sizes, which is absolutely top notch. When we then start looking at the weight of the helmet, we can really see how important material is to a helmet and it really does have effect on the weight. The K6 weighs in a size M 1350 grams, which is really excellent. The K6 visor has a wide and high field of view and is also optical class 1, which means that it falls into the best class when it comes to clarity. The visor is anti-scratch and also anti-fog pinlock lens prepared. The helmet comes with a pinlock lens in the box. Okay. Now that we know this, we are going to see how the K6 performed out on the road. Also for the K6, we will start with the noise isolation. If we look at the K6 performance in terms of noise isolation, we get the following data. During our ride on the highway, our decibel meter indicated an average of 101 decibels, which is another strong result. If we then look at the ventilation, we see that the temperature inside the helmet differs by one degree from the outside temperature. This is also a really good result, and so we can say that the K6 is equipped with good ventilation. Now that we've collected all the data, it's time to start looking at how the individual star ratings of these helmets compare. Before we do that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all of our reviews, road tests and guides. While you're at it, hit that like button and let us know in the comments what you think of this video. Okay, let's start again with the material part. The K6 is made of a better material than the K1 and it comes in two more shell sizes. This results into a nice score of 4 stars for the K6 and a moderate star of 2.5 stars for the K1. If we look at the weight, then the K1 gave us, despite the material, still quite a nice light weight of 1550 grams, which is really good. For this, the helmet also gained a nice 4 stars. Despite this excellent score of the K1, you always have boss over boss and of course in this case, that is again the K6. With an extremely light weight of 1350 grams, this helmet scores a full 5 stars. 
Moving on to the visor. The K1 comes with a moderate visor and the pin lock lens is not included as standard in the box, so it only scores one star on this part. The K6 does a better job again with a neat three stars for its visor. On the noise isolation, there is also a clear difference in decibels between the two helmets. The K1 scores two stars for its average decibel score of 105, where the K6 gets 3.5 stars for its average decibel score of 101. Finally, we look at the ventilation. On this component, the K1 does scratch the surface and gets three stars for its temperature difference of two degrees. The K6 had a temperature difference of one degree, which gives it four stars. Okay. This was it. We could kind of see it coming, but the K6 performs better than the K1 on every aspect. This is of course quite logical given the significant price difference of the two helmets. Still, the K1 did not fall short on the weight and ventilation components, which is quite significant. So, it appears again, for extra quality, you have to pay extra. Are you a beginner and are you curious how the K1 performs next to other beginner helmets? Then watch our video, The Best Beginner Helmets of 2022. Are you an advanced rider and you want to know how the K6 performs against the top best sport touring helmets? Then check out our guide, The Best Sport Touring Helmets of 2022. Also take a look at championhelmets.com where we have our lowest price guarantees and various discount bundles. If you have any questions or feedback, please send them to youtube at championhelmets.com where we will carefully go through all the submitted questions and we will address the most frequently asked or the most interesting questions in our monthly live store. My name is Liv from Champion Helmets. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.